to make sure that uh, we understood this, um, let's have two simple examples. First of all, let me show you how Kutchmarts defined his method in his uh, 1937 paper. And I think it was something for the solution of a uh, four by four nonlinear system by that time, by the way. Um, so uh, we assume that we want to solve a linear equation and um, RF equals G. And uh, we write our, I should just note this here, of course, we wish to use, we want to solve the matrix equation, matrix vector equation RF equals G, fully discrete. And uh, by uh, AK transpose, we denote the rows of R. By GK, we denote the elements of G. Then solving RF equ uh, equals G is equivalent to solving RKF um, in, equal to GK, where RK is just AK transpose. And we want to use this simultaneously, we want to solve this simultaneously for K from zero to P minus one. Now, what would Kachmart's method for this setting be? Well, for every L, choose a linear equation, choose one of the equations, uh, RKF equals RK transpose. I AK transpose F is GK. So um, to, for each L, choose a K equal to K of L. And uh, now apply Kutchmart's method with that K. So FL plus one is FL plus omega times, well, uh, RK transpose. So that's RAK, RK, RK transpose to the minus one. So that's AK transpose AK to the minus one, GK minus RK FL. So that's GK minus AK transpose FL, just, just inserting what we defined. And so that means that FL, the FL plus one is FL plus omega times GK minus AK transpose FL over norm of AK squared times AK. And uh, so uh, that's exactly what uh, Kutchmarts defined in his original paper. So this is now um, a method for, proposed method for solving um, an equation, um, a linear equation um, iteratively. And what we did here was we took every single equation in the, uh, just as, uh, as a single operator and then applied Kutchmarts to that. So that's the simplest thing. Um, you can just, every single equation that you have, you can just uh, denote as RKF equals GK, and uh, then this is what comes out. But we'll not use it in this form. Okay, uh, alternatively, let's uh, look at the parallel geometry for the radon transform and the symmetric discrete case, which are already motivated. So uh, I define the operator RKF by RKF of S is RF of theta K and S. And that should be the linear, the equation is that this should be equal to JK of S for K from zero to P minus one. So we assume that the, uh, the uh, um, radon transform has been measured for directions theta zero to theta P minus one, and uh, the measurements are GK. Okay, so we wish to solve this equation. And uh, so we view RK as an operator from um, L2 of the reconstruction area. So that should be K1 of zero. So we assume that F is the support of F is in the unit circle. And uh, this should go to um, L again to L2, L2 because we uh, need, um, we need, um, <laughs> we need Hilbert spaces. So uh, this is to L2. Um, yeah, and if uh, K and um, if F is supported in the unit circle, then RF is in the interval from RF theta K and S is in the interval from minus one to one. So we, we view this as an operator from the unit circle to the uh, interval from minus one to one. Okay, um, then uh, RK adjoint. Um, 
R is the ra RK is the radon transform, so uh, RK adjoint must be the back projection, and it's the back projection along one single line, and uh, that immediately shown that this is RK star applied to some function G of X. G is a data function. X is in the reconstruction space. So that uh, that is uh, uh, G of X times theta K. And uh, that's exactly what uh, we had for in the, that's exactly equivalent to what we had uh, in the continuous case for all, um, for, uh, for all angles, for all directions. Okay, so RK adjoint G is just an evaluation of G at this point. Now, um, we also have RK, RK adjoint uh, in the definition of the Kutchmarz algorithm. So, so let's look at what this is. RK, RK adjoint G of S is, uh, well, according to our definition, this is just the radon transform of RK star G of theta K and S. So this is the integral over x times theta equals theta k. Um, theta k. E x times theta k equals s. Um, and now that's rk star of uh, g. rk star of g is g of x times theta k. So uh, this should be the integral over g of x times theta k dx. And x times theta k is s. So this is s over here. And um, since everything is restricted to the unit circle, uh, this integration needs only to be done over the on, on the unit circle. So whenever a norm x is smaller than one. Now, uh, this over here is constant. So it's just g of s. And the length of the line, well, that's a, a line through the unit, uh, that's a line segment through the unit circle with distance s from the origin. So its length is twice times the square root of one minus s squared. So this integral over here is exactly like this one. So uh, RK, RK adjoint, uh, G is just the same as G, just multiplied with two times one minus, uh, two times the square root of one minus S squared. Now, uh, in the definition of the Kutchmann algorithm, we have this with minus one. So, um, so RK, RK adjoint um, to the minus one, G is nothing but multiplication of G with the, with one over two square root one minus S squared. Okay, so uh, now let's finally write down uh, what the Kutchmarz algorithm boils down to in this case. FL plus one of X is FL of X plus omega times, and now I'm plugging in this term over here, RK adjoint is just the evaluation of whatever comes after this at the point X times theta K. Now, uh, RK, RK adjoint to the minus one is just multiplying this one over here with uh, one over two square root of one minus, and we need to insert X times theta K squared. So this, uh, this one becomes one over two, twi two times square root of one minus X times theta K squared. And finally, uh, we need to insert x times theta k into the right-hand side over here. So that's gk of x times theta k minus rf of theta k and x times theta k. So uh, this is something that can immediately be implemented. Okay, so um, in concrete cases, um, one can actually compute these operators that come up. And uh, the main question now, of course, is does this converge or not? And um, in the convergence analysis, I will restrict myself to the fully discrete case.